Hey guys, it's Brandy. I'm just hopping on real quick to share a little haul with you guys. Um, I had to run to the craft store to get some embossing powder and I was looking for some stitched rectangular dies. So I stopped at Tuesday morning first to see if they had anything cheap, um, cheaper there and anything like that and they didn't. So I had to run to Joann's, which Joann's doesn't carry dies anymore in my store. So, and their embossing powders, all they had was packs, so I, they're just getting rid of a lot of stuff at my Joann's, so that sucks. But, um, I stopped at Tuesday morning, so I thought I'd share that haul. Um, things have been really crazy around here, so I haven't been online as much on my Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Um, sadly, we lost my grandma, so, um, that's been pretty rough, so... Um, haven't been doing a whole lot, um, there on social media and stuff and, but I had to run be to the craft store because, um, I'm making a card for the nursing staff at the nursing home that she was at and her favorite color is purple and I wanted to do some embossing, uh, with purple, um, that I didn't have any purple so I ran to the craft store. So, um, but anywho, we'll get to the haul real quick before I cry. So, um, the haul, we, I got some Jolie's Boutique, um, stickers. I did grab some others, but I put them back. I grabbed these because I figured this would be cute for my daughter's bags. Because, um, one, I took out a picture of her eating a sucker. So this would be perfect for her eating a sucker at trick-or-treating when we went locally. And then the other Halloween sticker I grabbed was were these. I thought these were absolutely cute. I seen, I think it was Mommy Loves Gigi uh, shared these. So I had to get those. And then I got some Heidi Swap dies. They were on clearance. These were like only like a dollar or something. So this one says document. This one says create. And then I have another one in here. This one says bliss. So, and all over on clearance. And then um, I picked up these toy box fans. Uh, I figured this would be cute for, like, if I did packaging for put on packages of our friends, like, packages and stuff, or on, like, a shadow box picture frame or something. Um, I picked these up. I've, I got these before, and I used most of these. Um, I think the only one I didn't use was Flirt, so I picked up more of those. Oh, these are some other Halloween stickers I grabbed. I like the Trick or Treat. And then, um, I picked up some Prima flowers, or little birdie flowers. Um, I wanted to pick up some of the Prima flowers that they had, but they were just so expensive, and it's like, I don't want to spend that much on some flowers, so. Even at Tuesday morning, they, I mean, they were only, I think it was only three bucks for a package but to me that's just kind of high for me I don't know I'm stingy I guess um and then I picked these up these were on clearance these are little umbrella charms so I picked those up those would be perfect for if I did something with my daughter she, I got some really good pictures of her splashing in puddles and then I picked up some Tim Holtz stamps the reason why I got these which I don't think I have this one but the reason why I picked these up is because I absolutely love the sayings and then I love butterflies and the music notes. So I picked this one up and then I picked this one up because I absolutely love the sayings. The remember the now, love you to the moon and back, lucky is a state of mind, all that stuff. And so the adventure begins. And then I picked up, I did grab a couple Halloween paper pads. But I went ahead and put them back because I just, I didn't want to, I, I already had Halloween paper and I didn't want to buy more. So I picked this one up because I put it down, but then I picked it back up because it was just so pretty. Some of the patterns on here with umbrellas, glitter, unicorns. I like this one. This one's super cute. But yeah absolutely love this one so I had to go back and get it so I picked that one up that one's Chamel glitter girl and I'm not sure if it's a project pad 
I think it's just Glitter Girl. I think that's the title. And then uh, I went to Joann's and I was very disappointed. Like their prices are outrageous and they just didn't have a whole lot. So I picked up this die because I figured I can use this for what I want. I'm not even sure if it'll work. It might, because I want to cut this out. So, that might work for that. Um, and then I picked up some, the only purple embossing powder that they had that was somewhat pretty is this glitter one. So I picked that one up, so we'll see how well that works. And then for our craft room, my daughter and I, I picked this up to hang up. Probably right above all of our washi tape holders. I'm planning on getting more of those. And then I'm thinking about hanging that up there with some pictures or some cards or something. So, that's my little haul. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'll share the card that I'm making for the nursing staff. I'm making this and I use distress inks and on watercolor background. And I watched a video on YouTube when I created it. But I'm hoping to do that and then put like thank you and all that stuff. And then I'm hoping to put like a butterfly on here a purple one um because my grandma loved purple and i believe she loved butterflies too so um wanted to do that for the nursing staff and then my daughter ended up getting like a stuffed bear from one of the um the one of the patients there so we're going to make him a card too of her holding the bear and i'm going to have her make it so she's probably going to be pretty excited about that so and I hope the guy likes it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later. If you guys want, you guys can subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. And definitely like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.